Once again, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want some applause, Tommy? Excuse me, am I in the right place? Sorry? Am I in the right place? <laughs> no, you're not. I'm terribly sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Carry on, if you can. <laughs> I've seen him before, Tommy, somewhere. Yeah. I have myself somewhere. I think we're... Anyway, have a <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cannonball Show. <laughs> Some lovely people on the show for you tonight. We've got Rich to sing for us. With... <laughs> Wait a minute. What's up? Why are you standing like that? Like what? Like that. <laughs> Emma? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're always doing it. Looks ridiculous. What's the reason? Hey, Tommy, I've got a good reason. Okay, okay. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> because I forgot my belt and it all my pants up. All right. <laughs> It is, you're wearing them stupid braces again. Oh my god! <laughs> I hope you wouldn't notice them, Tommy. Wouldn't notice? I can hardly miss them, can I? I mean, why do you keep standing like that? It really is ridiculous. Or is it one of them stupid habits of yours? <laughs> Excuse me, partner. I don't have stupid habits. I have a very good reason. Very good. Okay, don't keep saying you've got a good reason. What is it? <laughs> I'm not going to tell it, Tommy, because you won't believe me. Try me, try me. It's because of a runaway pig. <laughs> runaway pig? Runaway pig? Are there two of them? No. Oh. Oh, I've never seen a runaway pig. No, Tommy, I know that because they're on you before you know about it. They're <laughs> flying round the corner, Tommy. Half a ton of streaky bacon. <laughs> Not what you can do about it, you know. Right. Okay, we'll accept that. We'll accept there's a runaway pig loose out there, but how does it help you standing like that? Very simple, Tommy. What? If I stood like that, and the runaway pig came at me, it'd ruin my weekend. <laughs> Whereas, if I stand like that, it goes straight through. Uh, you know, I just don't believe it. I don't believe that. I knew you wouldn't, Tommy. I knew you wouldn't. And stand up straight, there's no runaway pig out there. That'll do for me, Tommy. Well... But it were a good reason, weren't it? Better than me best. Well, it's not, that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. we've got a terrific... Oh. Hey, runaway pig? Yes. <laughs> hey, hey! Come on, baby. Here we go. Hey, Tommy! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to meet Fritz! Yeah. I'm starting to walk and I'm learning to run. I'm seeing my friends and I'm having some fun. Heartaches and pain Like the thunder and rain And all disappear 
Come in, my little rose petal. <laughs> Look on to me. Hey, it's you. Come on, it's you. Hey, you're right, Tommy. <laughs> it's me. Hey, what are you doing back here? You said you were what? Pictures. I've been to pics, Tommy. Huh? I got very embarrassed. What do you mean? I saw a woman that were practically naked. I've no choice but to leave. Oh, come on, there's nothing embarrassing about that. There's plenty of half-naked women in films nowadays. She weren't in the film. She was sat next to me. <laughs> she had a long blue dress on, Tommy, with long sleeves and a high neck. Yeah? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. She had it over her arm. <laughs> I had to leave, Tommy, because we made a pact, didn't we? We said, while we're in London, We'll have nothing to do with women. Well, I know that, but I mean, she were only sat next to you. I know, Tommy, but I started to think of things to do. <laughs> That's a great idea. You would have. Look, you were involved. Well, <laughs> no, 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 you go have a nice meal. Yes, that's what you want. You want a nice meal. Hang on, I don't. Yes, I've just do. come in. <laughs> have had a big meal. That's the problem. It was too big. I need time to walk it off before it's three hours. <laughs> Tommy, I think you're trying to get rid of me. Who did you that idea? Because I've been in and out of that door like a cuckoo in a <laughs> clock. <laughs> what your problem is, don't you? You're tired. I'm not. You need to go to bed. Tommy, I'm not. <laughs> Tommy. What? I have a sneaky feeling you're trying to get rid of me. Oh, come on. There's, uh, there's something... Very up here, Tommy. Eh, so you think there's something going on, eh? No. I think there's something coming off. <laughs> and if it weren't for the fact that we made a pact, <laughs> no women, no women, I'd say you're expecting a burden here tonight. Oh, come on. What makes you think that? I don't know what it is, Tommy. Soft lights. Have you had a cat in here? <laughs> Lotion. Oh, that's not the shave lotion. That's another thing. What? You've had a shave and it's not even Monday. Well. <laughs> I see you've been shaving them cushions then, have you? <laughs> and what's this, Tommy? Before sex lotion. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm just been practicing my Tommy Cooper with that, you see. Very much, very much. Glass, bottle, bottle, glass, glass, bottle, bottle, glass. That sounds more like Alice Cooper. Hey! Right? <laughs> and I dread to think what you were going to do with that. <laughs> hey, Tommy. You're expecting a bird in here. You know what your trouble is, don't you? I know. You're overwrought and you're tired. I'm not tired. Yes, you are, you're tired. I'm not. You are, you're tired. I'm not. Yes, you are, you're tired. I'm not. You are, you're tired. I'm not. You are, you're tired. You are, you're going. He have gone tired all at once. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're my mate, Tommy, so I'm going to force myself to stop up till you go to bed. Now, wait a minute. You don't need to do that, Paul. Why? We'll both go to bed early because we're both tired. That'll do for me, Come Tommy. Come on, man, Paul. That'll do for me. Hey, whoop! Good night, Robert. you little dinky. <laughs> Tommy, what? You're expecting a birdie, eh? Oh, come on, I'm not. I'm not expecting a birdie. I think you are, mate, Tommy. I'm not. Well, it's ever late, but I wonder what that could be. <laughs> <laughs> what could be? There's somebody knocking at the door. 
What do I? Go on, Tommy. <laughs> they better answer it, they might go away. That's right, they might. Go away! <laughs> if they do, they'll only come back later. That's right, they might. Uh... Go away! Or they may. <laughs> come back later! <laughs> hey, but if they do, I'll still be here! Hey, Tommy. <laughs> You're expecting a bird, are you? Now look, for the last time, I'm not expecting anybody. I... This will be the last time, Tommy. This one's going to kill you. <laughs> hey, Bobby, now look, it's not what you think. It's not far from it. No, come on. <laughs> I don't understand. She's interested in business. Business? What business? That's right. This girl, she's interested in your business. Well, sure. oh, I'll tell you this. You're not showing her the business, are you? Oh, no. no. You stay here and we'll leave. What about to have a pact? You made a promise to me. Well, can I help it if I'm weak? You're not weak, are you, darling? <laughs> I'm my love. I'm fair. Weak? He can crush Mars bars in. <laughs> you lied to me, Tommy! Tommy Cannon! You lied to me, you little liar! <laughs> you little liar! <laughs> Can you hear me, Tommy? Can you hear me, Tommy? I hope I never see you again. At least for a couple of hours. <laughs> come on, girls, come on. <laughs> hey, come back and have a cup of tea now. We'll turn it back. All right, we'll be waiting for you. Come on, girls. Hey, Tommy! What? Tell them about this week's guest. We haven't got one this week. Don't bother telling. Keep it to yourself. OK. <laughs> Follow here again, Tommy. Isn't this a bit uppity? It's all right. It's all right. Hey, not half as sorry as we are. It's not much fun you keep interrupting us, is it? I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be doing a show here today. What do you think we are? And it's not much fun when you keep walking in and out, is it? Apologise. I must be in the wrong show. Tell him, Tommy. This is the Cannon and Ball show. You have my deepest sympathy. <laughs> Right, Tommy. Right. Now listen here, cocky. <laughs> He's looking right down his nose at me, Tommy. I could hardly look up my nose at you, could I? I've got it! I've got it! Probably caught it from him. No! Ernest Clark! Oh, why Ernest? Ernest Clark? What's it is? It's Ernest Clark! Oh, oh, wait. Who the hell's Ernest Clark? <laughs> the last series with us. I don't yes, I spent months trying to forget it. <laughs> well, you know how it is, big fish in a small pond. <laughs> You'll have to excuse Bobby. Don't excuse him. He gets carried away sometimes. Yes, but not far enough. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry if I've interrupted your show. I think the audience was relieved, but I'm sorry. I'll, um, I'll go to the canteen and have a cup of tea. Leave you with Shorthouse here. Just a moment. <laughs> Just a moment. My name's not Shorthouse. I told you I was polite. <laughs> See you in a moment. Hey. While you're in the canteen, try the bread pudding. The bread pudding's awful. Have three pieces. <laughs> Tommy. Yes. Yes, he does have a sort of primitive appeal. <laughs> I could have took him, Tommy. No, don't worry about him, right? I could have took him. Doesn't matter now. Forget it. Before he interrupts us again, let's get on with the show. Tommy, mm. if you don't want him interrupting us, the best place for us to be is the canteen. What? You've just sent him up there. He'll never find it. Come on, let's go and have a meal. Good thinking. Come on. Tommy. All right, you bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Pity. I did so want to say another fine mess you got me into. Well, why don't you say it? Another fine mess. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ernest Clark. Oh, Tell her what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to sing a song on my own. Just a minute, Tommy. Sing songs on your own. <laughs> this time I might give you a chance. Oh, yeah. For now, you can get off. Thanks a lot, Tommy. Laugh me a laugh, you're in me a grin. <laughs> and then I know that we can win. Dance me a dance, joke me a joke, and blow the clouds away. <laughs> Play me a tune, <laughs> sing me a song, and we can help us life for long. Just you and me, come on and see, together we'll be okay. Yeah. Open the door, open your heart, and then we got somewhere to start. Just turn around, look what we found, today's a brand new day. I'll run with you now, I'll show you how, the world is making, take a bow, show that it's you. Together we'll be okay. Together we'll be okay.